So I have been making art for lots of years, probably mm, about 30 years, I guess, but uh, and always really drawn to trying to explore the human story or the, the human subject. So the human body has always been the, the motif that is recurring throughout my artwork. I think that initially I would have called myself a painter, but I've sort of branched out and I do um, other work as well. So a lot of sculptural work as well. And I've worked in quite a few different mediums. I think my inspiration just comes from uh, trying to, I, I see art, creating art as kind of a way of um, making sense of the world or trying to discover things about the world and I, I'm interested in um, the, the human experience and the human journey and so creating art is a way of trying to make sense of some of that, try to kind of unravel it. So the my newest exhibit that's at the Yukon Art Centre right now is called The Forgetting and it was created um, as part of um, a Masters of Fine Art degree that I was doing through Emily Carr University in Vancouver. Unfortunately, my studies kind of coincided with uh, a kind of a family crisis in which my parents uh, were began. My father had had dementia for a few years, but then my mother also began to have issues with her memory. And so um, it was becoming pretty clear that they weren't going to be able to continue living on their own. And so the the show The Forgetting is kind of my working my way through it. I was spending a lot of time um, talking to them on the phone because I, unfortunately the pandemic happened and they were uh, isolated in their home. Yeah, the exhibit is uh, was came out of that experience of just trying to to make sense of what was happening. The I guess confusion and the unpredictable nature of dementia, I felt wasn't really being served very well by a realistic kind of uh, visual language. And so I, I felt that I needed to develop a new visual language to express um, these effects of dementia. So I guess a question that the, this whole experience of witnessing my parents going through uh, is suffering from dementia uh, question I guess that haunts me the most is is because memory is so intimately tied to a person's uh, personality or their sense of self then um, I'm sort of haunted by this question of who are you if you can't remember your own story so there are several different kinds of memory and one of them is called episodic memory which means the, the remembering of all the events that have happened in your past and people create a sense of self by sort of stringing together these memories of uh, what's happened to them and so um, it's almost like the way people curate their their Facebook page they put they you remember the things that are important to um, kind of describing to yourself or telling others who you are and so this episodic memory uh, is responsible for sort of creating our sense of of who we are and it it me makes us or allows us to think of our our lives in terms of a story that's kind of linear that goes from the past forward in kind of a logical way stitching together these memories but then if you can't remember the memories that make you who you are um, you know it's it's just a really disturbing thought somebody asked me recently if i thought that going through the whole process of creating all this art around dementia was cathartic in any way for me and um, you know I'm 
I'm not sure that's true. It, it, it did increase my knowledge of what was what is happening with them, um, and allowed me to sort of dig deeper into family stories and their histories. But I think maybe its value just comes in terms of sometimes art is just a way of bearing witness. Um, and maybe that's all I can do.